What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and we are back with some Hero Coliseum. Now we're facing Alien Laser again. Now today, we, this is on Ranked, by the way. Uh, I almost said Ranked with all limitations, but Ranked. Now, today, look at this. You're about to see this team, and I want to ask a question. We're running double blue Vegeta, double Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and a Big Bang Vegeta. What is the best Vegeta in the game? I want you guys to comment it down below. What is your opinion, the best Vegeta in the game? Oh, brother, shout out to you, CWM. But you got some speed. But, yeah, you have some speed, brother. That's the problem. Now, you have him. I can put you there. I can put you there. And then I can put you here. And that is a gross amount of speed. I will kill whoever you put in front of me. Let's do this. All right, so. I might be able to win in speed because he doesn't have any speed skills on the future Gohan. Now. Yeah, do you have any speed skills on your future, Gohan? 250. Yeah, okay, so you don't have that many speed skills. I should still be able to win. I have Big Bang Vegeta, who has a decent amount of speed. And I have... Yeah, I say... And I have the um, Attack Blue Vegeta, who is very fast. He has basically the same amount of speed as future Gohan does right now, after all the skills go off. So, who's going to hit first? Um, Blue Vegeta's gonna hit first, and he's probably gonna kill because he has a 40% damage buff right now. But I don't know, Blue Vegeta, Blue Gogeta also has a weird thing where I'm pretty sure he ignores the damage, um, buffing. But can I get a double, please? Dude. <laughs> I don't get doubles. This is insane. I literally just played somebody, and I did not get a single double at all. And now, happening again, and they get so many doubles. Like, I don't understand. It might just be a me thing, but I was like, you're dead. That's a fact. So, Future Gohan just got absolutely, like, juiced to the gills in attack and stuff like that. Now, he's dead no matter what. That's a fact. I'm actually annoyed that he's dead, but he has no speed anymore. No speed. Yeah, outside of the Future Gohan, he has no speed. Now, I have ET skills, and I have the Blue Vegeta, the attack Blue Vegeta. Now, if you guys don't know how gross that figure is, I'm going to show you how gross that figure is. He hits hard. Yeah, you got a lot of attack in defense, so, yeah, so do you. Attack up a one. So I have figure, and you're going to run. You have no ET skills either. So I can get one more figure killed, and I can kind of run out the clock, but at the same time, I can't. Now, I want to do that, but I don't want Future Gohan to hit me down the middle, because if he hits me and gets a double, like, if he does go O one one skills right there, I die. Like, that's a fact. So I'm going to win in speed no matter what, because I don't think he's putting Future Gohan out there again. Like, that just wouldn't make sense. Let's do it. Okay, so, this is good. Big Bang Vegeta is going to hit the Piccolo first, which means he's going to lose 700 defense. And then, do I have ET skills on? I think I do. Yeah. Big Bang Vegeta is going to hit his Piccolo, and Piccolo is going to lose 700 defense right off the bat. And then Blue Vegeta will, pro will be able to kill him, because he has like 8,000 attack right now, and he's getting a decent amount of attack buff. He's not getting a 30% that he does get from his posing skill, but... It's a, de like, it's a decent buff that he has. Now, this team is a team that I cooked up a decent, like, a little bit ago, like, maybe a couple days ago. And I was like, maybe this team would work online, and I really wanted to try it on ranked. We're trying it on ranked today, guys. Now, Big Bang Vegeta, he's gonna die from the, he's gonna die from the Bardock, right? Ooh, can I get a double? This is the, I say, this is the only double I really do care about now. I didn't even care if the Blue Gogeta died, because I was the Speed Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that died. But, if anything, I want to kill the future Gohan. IVT skills, there's no way your Bardock is surviving this. You're going to take, like, I'm going to say 3.2k. 2.7k, I'll take it. He gave everybody a 10% damage buff as well, and he gave himself a natural 20%. The, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the new Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, is such a top-tier figure. And so is he. Let me know what your favorite Vegeta figure in, and let me know who you think is the best Vegeta figure in the game. OG, I didn't put the OG blue Vegeta because I wanted to add some spice, and this team is gross. Now, you, you're killing me in speed. That's a fact. I need to get a kill. So, put you there, because I don't know where is he going to put future Gohan. Because that's the problem, is if actually whoever he hits, even if he doesn't hit him, and say he kills him, these two are still hitting you directly, which should be a kill, right? Let's do this. That's beautiful. Okay, so Big Bang Vegeta is going to be hitting pretty hard, and so is he. So he's getting 700 defensive buff, and I'm getting a plus 20% to own damage dealt. I'm pretty sure I have one more ET skill figure on the field, and that is the um, attack Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then I have the Speed Blue Vegeta still on the field. Still off the field that I can use. 
So, this is going to be a death for me. There's no way I can win. Maybe with a 300 and you got a 100, but even then, it still wouldn't matter, guys. But I hope you guys had a fantastic day. As always, like I said, let me know what your favorite Super Saiyan Let me know what your favorite Vegeta card is in the game. And let me, I just want to see what your ideas. I want to see what your opinions are. I actually like the OG Blue Vegeta. I didn't put him on this team because I wanted to do double. I wanted to do double something. And now I have literally four. I have two Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas and two Blue Vegetas. And a Big Bang Vegeta. And this is actually the attack Big Bang Vegeta. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You should be dead. Yes, because you lost 700 defense. GG. There's no way I'm not doing 7.6. GG, brother. Oh, my God. This team is good. It's okay. It doesn't have that much speed outside of the first turn, as you saw. That was, like, last resort. I knew what he was going to put. I knew who he was going to put. It was going to be a speed figure. And um, if I didn't kill him, it, it, was not, it wasn't going to go well if I didn't go first, guys. But I'm going to hop into another fight. I hope they catch you guys there. Also, I do like this I do like this option. Are you sure you want to move on to the next battle? Because sometimes I'll be playing a ranked match or I'll be play, yeah, I'll be playing a ranked match and then I'll I'll just like stop what I'm doing and then it'll hop me in and I'll pick a random deck cuz I looked away and it did that, guys. But I'm going to be right back. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Hope to catch you guys there, brothers. All right, guys, we're back and we're hopping into ranked and we're facing Alien Laser again. I figured this would happen, but shout out to that man. Now as like I said, I'm going to say it once, I said it twice, I'm going to say it again. Let me know what your favorite Vegeta figure is in the game, and let me know who you think the best Vegeta figure is in the game. I'm still going with the Attack Blue Vegeta, the new Attack Blue Vegeta, because it's like it's impossible to match his damage at some points in the game. It is almost impossible to, because he hits so freaking hard. But, um, wow, okay. So, I have an idea. You need to die. Like, you, Vados, Vados needs to die. Like, and I know, okay, so shout out to, shout out to Alien Laser, but Vados needs to die in some way, shape, or form. Now, will I be able to, I don't think you're going to put Big Bang, but I know you're not going to put Future Gohan on first turn, which means I should be able to beat you in speed, theoretically, right? Yeah, because I will be gaining speed, 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 let's do this. No, okay, so your Whis is going to die from the, um... Your Whis is going to die from the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I don't think the Big Bang Vegeta is even... Actually, the Big Bang Vegeta is going to hit first. So, yeah, your Whis is dead no matter what. Yeah, your Whis is dead no matter what. Even if you're taking 30% less damage, that is the HP Whis. So, he doesn't have as much HP as the... Um... Okay, he doesn't have as you got a 100 anyways. He doesn't have as much H. He doesn't have as much defense as obviously the defensive version. I'm not a big fan of the defensive version. He has like 3,400 defense, which is monstrous. Don't get me wrong, but there's you just uh, you still have such a low amount of HP where like that's still easy to kill. Like a lot of these figures, Ultra and Goku will still put a beating on you. Yeah, that, one, that wasn't gonna kill. Now you want to get double, right? Now you want to get double. I see you, but. He's dead. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is actually going to die. The attack one, which isn't good. But as long as I keep the attack Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, I should be fine. Your Whis is dead this turn. Next turn, I am coming for the Vados. And then that is GG. Because once I take out the Vados, I should be able to take out the Piccolo. I just have to watch out for the God Goo because he's going to gain attack in, in an insane amount. I should hit for like 4 here. I see no reason I shouldn't hit for 4k here. 5. Bro, that is with 5,000 defense. This master has 5,000 defense, and he still hit for 5k. And this is a figure that came out in the last update, not the new Broly update, not the new Broly Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Fu update. Came out in the new update. You should hit not that hard, but that is insane, guys. Like, I'm, a like I'm actually blown away at how broken they made the past update figures. Like, Ultra Instant Goku is still a top-tier figure. Like, by far, he is one of the hardest-hitting figures that has ever come to this game. Outside of the Broly, outside of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Blue Gogeta, because those guys hit pretty hard. I didn't expect you to survive that at all. Even though you got 700 defensive buff, God Koo is God Koo. And God Koo, you have, you have SDC skills on him, right? Yeah, so he got a 10% right here, 1,000 attack buff right there. Plus, he got a 700 attack buff from his posing skill. He gained 700 defense. I don't know why you put the defense up on him. I'm going to give you a little tip, Alien. Don't put defensive up. I see it a lot sometimes. Do not put defensive up SEC on a figure that you're going to be putting in the back unless you're confident putting him in the middle. Don't do it. it there's no point on doing it. 
So, I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. Yeah, I want to kill the Vados, like, no matter what. Let's do this. Chances are he puts Vados. What is happening, brothers? I'm super confused now. Because now... Okay, so... You actually messed up. You actually did mess up. Because off chance that I can actually kill the Big Bang Vegeta... I know he wanted to protect the future Gohan. But all you really had to do was... Put the God Coup behind the Piccolo. And just take out whoever I put in front of the Piccolo. Because I'm coming for the Piccolo. Like, That's a fact now. Can I get 300, please? Thank you, guys. But let me know what teams you guys are running. I will be doing the team suggestions. I'm very sorry. I mentioned team suggestions in the SR Android 17 Dragon Ball Super Android... Not Dragon Ball Super. Super 17 video. You should die. He actually has a 10% damage, 20% damage buff. Actually, he should have like a 35% damage buff. You should die. There's no way you survive this. Thank you. I'm taking out figures left and right. Now, I love the team he has. It's just, if you... Had defensive up skills on the Vados, so you might have been able to survive it, but are you going to kill him even with the buff of defense? Come on. Ooh, this is good. Piccolo is still in the field. You're still going to hit hard. That is so gross. Like, that is disgusting. So, Piccolo is staying on the field. Am I going to lose two figures here? Because if I lose two figures here, I lose, actually. Don't tank it. Don't get a double. Let's go. Oh, my God. I can't complain about luck anymore. I'm not going to complain about luck anymore in this game. I need to keep a figure alive. I was going to say, you can kill him. So, I have an ult. I'm pretty sure you're going to kill him, so I should get an ult, right? Because if I get an ult, hopefully, right, that's going to bump me up. It's not going to bump me up. But you can't use all one skills with future Gohan. I have an ult. Haha. -ha. You can't use all one skills with future Gohan because I did this. I locked a Piccolo in place with the Big Bang Vegeta, and now I can basically do whatever I want. I get an ult. So everybody's going to die this turn. Let's do this. Because he's going to be gaining a... Do I want to do this? Yeah, you might as well, Mugs. Might as well. I'm talking to myself. But yeah, GG. This is... Everybody's dead. I'm going to win in speed no matter what because the Big Bang Vegeta... I mean, not the Big Bang Vegeta. There's so many Vegetas. The new blue Vegeta, the speed blue Vegeta, top left is gaining an insane amount of speed. He has 5,740 speed, I believe, which is rivaling the future Gohan. Once you calculate in the speed up A, everybody gets 250 speed. That is a 750 speed buff total for everybody. Like, everybody gets that 750. So that's beautiful. And then the Big Bang, the attack, um, the attack Blue Vegeta is a monster. Like, he doesn't have that much speed, but the speed up A skills actually made it very viable to run uh, Jiren, like the attack Jiren, the Attack Ultra Instinct Goku, and all of those figures, without having to really risk them and, like, run, like, Speed Cell, Super Saiyan 4, I mean, not Super Saiyan 4, Speed Cell, um, Future Gohan. Um, Bay 18 is actually a little bit better for running a speedier setup. Are you going to die? Because you have SEC skills. No, you're not going to die. But you're still dead anyway. GG. Wow. Okay, shout out to your boy, Alien Laser. Like... It's insane. Now, sometimes, guys, I'm sorry about this, but I do fight the same people all the time because if, like, Hero Coliseum is a game where uh, there's, like, a small percentage of people... Oh, charge it up, brother. Charge it up, brother. Hey! 11! Ooh! He had for 11k. That's actually pretty good considering he only has 8,000 attack. And I don't know if... Cal I don't think uh, defense is not calculated in when it happens to this. Like, you will hit them bare minimum, like, attack damage. Unless you lower their attack before they get an ult and stuff like that. Then it will skew the attack. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. As I said, let me know what your favorite super sit. Let me know what your favorite Vegeta is in the game. And let me know what the best Vegeta is in the game. I'm going to do this. He is my favorite Vegeta in the game. And he is my and he is the best Vegeta in the game, in my opinion. He hits hard. Like, it literally is disgusting. Look at this. Place on a trigger score for plus 30% to own damage dealt, minus 10% to damage taken, which is eh, because if you put him in the back, it doesn't really matter, but also ignore opponent damage reduction. So, them trying to reduce the amount of damage that you're going to be dealing or they're going to be taking, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't... And he has a 30% damage buff naturally, which is gross. Another reason why I have... I will be doing an all-Goku team tomorrow, guys, so let me know who you guys want on that team. And I will be doing a stream today actually today is saturday so i will be doing a stream because you'll be watching this on a saturday guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe as always i hope to catch y'all in the next video the deduces everybody